Good morning, my YouTube friends. Welcome to another uncut, unbiased, and noble review. Today's theme is my breakfast, and the way I plan my breakfast, I think of what I'm going to do today and choose vitamins, minerals, and amount of energy that I need to sustain my day. So, for example, first ingredient of my breakfast would be uh, pumpkin seeds. I deliberately put it in non-branded pack because I'm not getting any kickbacks, not affiliating with any brands, but I do recommend quality pumpkin seeds. So what we will do, uh, open the bag, take a dash of pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are a really good source of zinc and protein. I'll explain about minerals um, sometime later. But zinc is one of the most crucial minerals, especially when we're heading towards Australia in summer or other countries have virus situation. The second ingredient is sunflower seeds. Again, uh, there's a lot of sunflower seeds in the market. Choose quality ones, they better taste and they literally, you, you feel the difference. The sunflower seeds are rich in B complex vitamins. They really good for nervous system, and again, um, they're really good source of protein and vitamin E. Again, if you'd like me to make an episode on vitamins and minerals, I will. Otherwise, just trust me, uh, those things are really beneficial, and they pick in fiber as well. Next ingredient would be uh, chia seeds. Many claim chia seeds are high in omega-3 and so on. I do put chia seeds in my breakfast because it's most fibrous food that I like. Um, chia seeds also swell, they're soluble fiber. Basically, they will make you satiated for a good period of time to lunch or perhaps if you do two meals a day to perhaps all the way to the dinner. So we add some chia seeds. I choose a black chia seeds. Some people like white ones. It's preference. I don't think there's a much difference in nutrition on them, but I guess it's a prep, personal choice. Next ingredient is coca nibs. And those nibs are one of those what people call superfood i disagree with the whole notion of superfood but the coca nibs are really high surprise surprise in fiber antioxidants magnesium potassium iron and they just plain delicious so here we are we've got coca nibs and they're also really good source of fatty acids if you're into a keto diet or anything else. Now, the last solid ingredient would be nuts. Uh, choose nice nuts wisely. Some nuts are not really nuts, they're legumes. I use uh, pecans, macadamias, Brazil nuts, and walnuts. They've got really good ratio between omega-6, omega-3, and omega-7 fatty acids. So they provided happy medium, um, good fatty acid profile, and also keep you satiated long time. Now, the last ingredient would be, people put yogurt, but what I do, I make my homemade kefir. And from kefir, I make kefir cheese or kefir yogurt so what's the difference between yogurt and kefir in a nutshell most of the commercially packaged yogurts have between two to eight uh, beneficial bacteria in them and they bacteria listed in the in the packaging yogurt statistically have around 60 to 65 beneficial bacteria which basically tastes almost the same I would say I don't taste any different um, in, in yogurt taste, but it's much more beneficial for gut, gut bacteria, and all the food that you're eating will be happy absorbed only because that bacteria will be thriving on that food. So I add yogurt, and at the end, I will sprinkle cinnamon. Cinnamon is really good spice to control 
sugar levels because it doesn't matter what we eat if there's a bit of carbohydrate it will spike spike insulin and naturally body doesn't like insulin spikes and i can actually create a whole separate video on insulin but insulin is not something that you would like to rise and rise for a long time so cinnamon if you like it it's a good spice to put on a breakfast so here you go guys here's my breakfast for today and if you have any questions ask away more than happy to answer bon appetit